everyone welcome back to another video today i wanted to go through a bag that you guys have seen i'm sure on youtube a million times seen different reviews what fits inside but i'm going to talk about it anyways because you know we love talking about handbags on this channel so if this is your first time here welcome i talk about bags that i love designer bags contemporary bags any bags that um any bags in every bag actually so if that's something that you like please consider subscribing and let's just get started so today i wanted to go through my chanel 19. now that you know um it's been a while since i've had this i i wanted to kind of share what fit inside i did do a video on the unboxing of this i'll drop that below if you guys are interested but today I really wanted to go through a more detailed review on it now that I've had it for a while. Um, again, like, like I said, many of you probably, if you're eyeing the bag, you either have it already or maybe you're on, you know, thinking about getting another one in new color and you just wanted to see what fits inside. So this one is in lambskin and this is you see it it's so pretty and this lambskin is like no other lambskin i've ever felt whether it's chanel or any other brand it's seriously like butter um and i'll be honest i wanted a goat skin but they only had lambskin at the time and i got this right before the price increase i think when it was still at the lower cost so i was like you know what it's i'm just gonna get what's available and i was lucky that i was able to get this one but you know what sometimes i'm a believer that everything happens for a reason and i've been loving the lambskin you wouldn't think i know lambskin in general is very delicate but it's not as delicate as people would say or think um just because you know it does have like i don't know if it has like a coating maybe like a thin coating or something but it does feel more delicate obviously you don't want to throw your bag put it on the floor scratch it anything like that and but like I've always said, we buy bags to wear them and enjoy them. And if you get a scratch, it just tells a story better. So yeah, I absolutely love this Chanel 19. This is in the size small, which I know some people call it a medium, but it's the not the wallet on chain, but the smallest size in the regular handbag size. Um, and I, for me personally, this is the perfect size because it fits quite a lot um as your essentials and more and it doesn't lose its shape because it's you know fairly you know big enough i know like the larger sizes can sag if you don't um have an organizer or maybe stuff them with enough stuff it does sometimes sag when you hold it up so this is what it looks like you guys have seen it it's with this nice handle chain the cc turn lock antique gold and you can see I still have this on it. Um, and I just store it like this. I have my Zimoni organizer. So it keeps the shape and also helps me organize it as I'm using it. And I just store the chain inside. You can see you guys have seen this so many times. It just looks like this. And then it has this on me. So for me personally, this is like the perfect, really just, the, it really goes with any outfit and any style, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love it. But like I said, I just want to show what fits inside real quick. A couple of you have asked me, you know, how does it, how's it wearing and everything like that. So again, I have my Zaboni. So just to show you, for example, this is my largest wallet. Um, and if I were to put this in, Look, it fits perfectly with room to spare. So let's say I put that in and then let's say I wanted to put a little makeup pouch in there. This is um, Stone Clover Lane, I think is the brand. I absolutely love it. It's in this nylon material gold hardware and it's for me just like a catch all. And I just have my Chanel lip gloss. Dior lip gloss or Dior, I think it's more like chapstick. Um, and I have lip liner in here, hair scrunchie mask, and yeah, just a little pouch in there. So yeah, I like to carry this. Um, in cert I don't carry this, this is kind of big. So it fits in like certain bags, but it doesn't fit in like every bag. So I usually just carry in certain bags. But for video's sake, I wanted to show and if you wanted to, this is pretty big, you could fit this inside 
and closes up with no issues. However, you know, my thing is, I know people like to organize with pouches, but know that it takes up room, right? So some bags need it, some bags don't. I think, for example, my Palm Springs Mini, that one deserves pouches. It just helps the organization of that. But I think in like other cases, it's just not needed. So why even um, take up that? This in a way where I would actually, what, what I would actually bring. Okay, so I'm gonna take this out because I don't use this wallet as often anymore. I use that more for traveling. But you guys know I use my Tiger Rama wallet. So I would put that in there. I love it because it fits so much. Plus, you know, um, it's thin. Key pouch where I put cards and all this extra stuff in it. I would carry mints with me. These are from Trader Joe's. They're really good. Okay, I would carry lotion because my hands get dry. Again, you guys know I stick it in this little Zumoni um little pouch that comes with the insert because I don't want the edges of the lotion to scratch up the leather. However, I don't think it matters in this one because you have these slots inside. So I don't think that's a huge thing. I like to carry my vitamins. I'm gonna put that right there. Okay, I have my little sanitizer right here it's so cute a compact mirror I would just put in a little pocket over there I would keep a little um wipes with me so let me just show you guys what that looks like now so I use I do utilize the slots for certain things um chapstick I'll probably just put on the side right here yeah this is everything I would carry so look, so much, and I could obviously stuff more things in there. Another card holder. This is my Senrev card holder. I love this one, so durable. I could stick this one in there too. Again, so much more room. Let's just stick another wallet in. This is my Senrev Zippy wallet or card wallet. I'm not sure what the official name is, but I could, I could stick. Okay, so it would be a stretch. I could put this in, but I don't want to stretch the leather. So comfortably fitting this is what will fit inside again i could you know obviously do some different what fits inside but i don't want to make this um video super long and detailed just because like i said you guys i'm sure have seen many videos on this before but i'm just gonna go through now that i have this back for a little bit a little bit of the pros and cons in my opinion um so let's talk about the pros first so pretty love the and you know it's one of those bags when you see it on whether it's on camera or you see it in photos, it actually doesn't look, it doesn't do it's, it doesn't do justice until you see it in person because you really just need to feel it. It is like, again, so soft to the touch that I, if I could, I would actually want this as a pillow. It's just, it's so soft and buttery. And again, I don't own or even seen any other lambskin as nice as this one. Comment below if you guys agree with me that this is probably one of the hands down nicest lambskins um, on a Chanel bag or any other bag for that uh, matter. Um, I love the fact that there's so much detail in this closure right here. Back pocket. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the back pocket. The phone actually fits. Okay, so I don't have my phone on me. This one actually fits my 12 Pro Max, which is the biggest phone I think it, there is out there. Maybe there's a Samsung phone that's bigger, but even then this will totally fit and it'll fit like keys and stuff, last minute things you need. And it's so handy when you're out and about and you don't want to undo, you don't want to like turn this open and all of that stuff, right? So yeah, I would say pros is back pocket. I love the size. I love the feel of the bag and just overall it's so pretty. And I think... um it's just, it's one of my favorite bags. So yeah, this one. So going through the cons, I mean, I don't know, like, I guess the con would be a Chanel bag to some extent is delicate. So, you know, I'm not going to bring this bag out if it's raining. I'm not going to bring this bag out if I, I know I'm going to be tossing and, you know, um, I don't have that like time or the energy to be super careful. I wouldn't bring this out, but you know what? Um, this is still a great everyday yeah, exactly. other reviews I've seen. <laughs> This does shift off your shoulder sometimes. So sometimes like this part will hang. You kind of have to like maneuver it back. I don't really have a problem with it. I, I don't know if it's because I'm 
my shoulders are too big or something, but I actually feel like it fits fine. I mean, sometimes I have to adjust it, but it doesn't really bother me to really necessarily think it's a con. Um, but again, maybe it's just within time as I use it more, I'll notice it more, call it out. However, I don't really think it's a big deal. Now, the things that do kind of bother me, and this is so minute, it's not a big deal, is you see like the, do you see like how this is weaved in, in and out? Like there's a lot of um, like corners that kind of pop out. And I think I reached out to a few of you guys and you guys said that that's just how the bag's made. I just wish that it was more seamless. See how it does that. I just wish it was like one that went across and you couldn't really like see that because it pokes out sometimes and it's just a more like something that just like I noticed too many details that kind of annoy me but it's again not like a huge huge thing um but yeah overall I would say the other con is that I predict that within time this will maybe wear a little bit as you turn and like open and close I mean not so much when it comes to scratches because the bag is an antique gold so the scratches you really can't even see I think it's just more in the I, I've seen like other reviews too where the gold like I don't know if it chips off or it has some sort of wear on it so just be aware that that is something just be aware that that's something potentially that could happen but again um I think it's I think it's fine and I would say the third con is the fact that if you don't stuff it with enough stuff or an organizer the bag will sag a little bit but again, it's just about proper care and knowing how to take care of leather like lambskin. So again, I really highly recommend if you guys have this bag, you're getting this bag, look into getting um, uh, an organizer. Like I said, I have the Zumoni one. I love Zumoni. I, I mean, I love, love them because the inserts fit like a glove and it has like all these ins like all these like pockets within that that makes it easy for you to organize your stuff. So I personally love this right here. And then just so you guys know, I forgot to show you that there is a back pocket here that comes with a bag and the Zumoni actually matches a pretty close match, maybe a little bit darker than the actual natural lining of the bag. So I highly re recommend that, but I know like Samorga makes them. So I think it's very similar male felt too. So you can look into that. You can get them on Amazon. However, my theory is I love certain organizers from Amazon too for certain bags, right? Especially like the smushier bags, like, like my Fendi baguette back there. I use the Amazon insert because I like the like slouch, but se semi-structure. But I think with like, a bag like more on the Chanel level, I would consider like more of a Samorga or Zimoni just because it's like made to fit within the bag. Um, and then also storing it is something that you want to be, um, you know, just, you just want to make sure you're storing it right, right? You want to tuck the straps inside um, and then you want to like sit right. You want to probably have this. I think they said, I don't want the chain instead of it, facing this way so it indents put it back here so it stores a little bit better so just things like that you would do have to like notice a little bit but again that's with many of you know that uh, many of the bags we love we just want to have that extra care in place especially if you're spending the money for it you want it to go a distance okay. yeah I would say that's my little tips um for you know just maintaining the bag in general things you guys seen I've shared my other Sunroof bag before but they're doing their 20 percent off which is a big deal i don't think senrev they only do it a few times maybe a couple times a year um i know their bag revival is one and then now they're actually i've never seen this um i never seen on my end but they're doing 20 percent off some of the best colors in all of their different types of bags so like their maestra their i think their aria um their Aluna bag and that like beautiful moth pink. I'm going to insert some pictures up here. So right now that's going for 20% off. So I'll link all the info below if you guys are interested. And if you guys use my code, um, you spend 300, get $50 off. You can use the 20% off plus my code. So you can actually potentially be saving a lot. And again, these, I think some of the SLGs might be included too. I, I'll check on that and drop everything below. But if you guys are looking for like a card wallet like this, but you don't want to spend 
money, like a couple hundred dollars necessarily on that because you have another wallet that you rather invest in, highly consider the SendRev card holder. You want to know why? This is the only one I've had. I mean, I've had like YSL ones, LV ones, other ones, but they're so stiff, so hard to get into. But this one is like buttery leather that's crock embossed, but it feels buttery smooth, but it fits like it's so flexible that I could fit two to three cards in each. So this little thing packs a punch and this is made in Italy. They have a bunch of different leathers, um, textures and colors, but I just really love this. And I actually loved it so much that I got rid of my other ones and I only use this one. I mean, granted, I have a lot of other SLGs. This is still like one of the ones I reach for the most. So again, if you guys are looking for something on the inexpensive side, but with that doesn't, you know, lose quality, really can look into the Senro stuff. I'll link everything below, but I love, love, love. And you guys know, I've been really trying hard to clean up my, you know, just like the stuff that I have, my closet you know, really making room for the bags that I use. And I don't want things just sitting on shelves. Like a lot of the bags I have here are the ones that I use a lot. I also have some in my closet that I do use, but I, you know, just store it in like different ways, different shelves. I don't have a lot of room. Um, so I want to make sure that I'm utilizing it properly. So as I'm continuing my adventure of cleaning. <laughs> um, I ran into these two favorites that I have from Louis Vuitton. One is an oldie but a goodie and I've probably only used this one a few times but I absolutely love it um, at the moment. But right now I just, you guys know, I don't use big bags anymore because I'm all about using smaller bags. And you know, when before when I carried everything with me, I was like, why am I holding all this stuff? My shoulders hurt. It's just, you know, I just, for my lifestyle, I don't need a big bag. I just need a couple, right? I have my Goyard tote. I have my Speedy. Oh no, no sorry, not my Speedy, my Neverfull. So those are bags I use when I'm traveling or I'm going to like, you know, um, going somewhere I know I'm going to be spending the day and I need to bring a jacket, bring like all this stuff. I will use those. I don't need a ton because I don't use it. So this one is a Louis Vuitton PM Delight, Delightful, the PM Delightful bag. I think that's what it's called. Drop everything below. But this is her right here. And you guys can see, honestly, it's like brand new. Like I hardly used it. And yes, I mean, just from storing, the Vachetta is a little honey, but in my opinion, the perfect honey right and you have those rings here i don't even think they make this one anymore i think the new ones are slightly different i could be wrong though but i'll look into it and drop it below but it, it's like this i stuff it with um little airbags but yeah it has that little closure here and it has this back zipper thing here too and it's so cute and this is the I think it's the smaller size but still obviously fits a bunch like look how cute like part of me doesn't want to get rid of it because ugh, I just I love El like Louis Vuitton it's just near dear to my heart so part of me is like you know what I'm gonna keep it and use it when I go on my next trip but then I'm like do I need it though so that's my struggle I don't know but yeah you guys I think I'm gonna See if you can find her new home, but I don't know. Like, it's not the end of the world if I can't because I love her as well. But if you guys are interested, DM me. Um, perfect condition. If you, um, but yeah, if I want to find her a good home, so if you guys are interested, let me know. Okay, the second thing I'm not sure either. I had this for a while, and you know I've had her for a while because it's the it's in like the old style box, which is the you know the brown box from back in the days, which. Don't get me wrong, like I still really, as much as I love like the new yellow, the orange and blue, like look how like classy this looks and it has that leather pull. So this is one that I've had for a while as well and I just discovered it in my closet. Still has a little original dust bag and look how cute. It's technically like a belt bag, but I don't know where the strap, it must have been lost when I was moving or whatnot, but yeah, it so it looks like this. And then the inside is like this micro suede beige, but look at the condition. Like it really is in great condition. There's, there's not even a scratch on the button. And the inside looks like this. 
nowhere because like I said, I barely used her. And then look at the bottom. So I was like, you know what? Should I get rid of her? Should I keep her? Because I could just use this as like a little keep all and put it into my bigger bags, right? But then what I did is I took my chain from Dress Up My Purse, which is this right here. And it has this um, D-ring right here. And I put it through. It actually fits through the loop perfectly. Okay, so look. And then I put it on and it's like a little belt bag. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. But it could like wear like a little belt bag like this um and it's just like great like if i'm just running to the store and i don't need i just need to carry like you know the essentials it'll fit in here let me just show you guys because now that i've rediscovered this i think i might be in love again so card holder i could fit a mirror chapstick Look, everything fits. No bulge at all. And look at the back with this. It's so cute, right? Okay, so help me, guys. Do I keep this or do I sell it? I don't know what to do because I really, I think I really like her. Um, so anyways, yeah, so this is another one I discovered in my closet. If you guys are interested um, and you think you're going to get more use out of it, let me know um, because it is something that, you know, like I'm on the fence about. Like part of me love, loves her, but part of me, I'm not sure if I'm going to use her as much as I should be considering I have other bags that I use more. So yeah, but look how cute. So again, DM me on Instagram. I'll drop my handle below if you guys are interested in any of those LV bags. And it, let me know if you guys like me throwing in little like things I find in my closet that I might be willing to let go of. If that's something that you guys like, um, give me a thumbs up below and let me know because I would love to hear your thoughts. But yeah, that's it, guys. Just wanted to hop on here like always and just chat about bags and again thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next one bye